Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was out at the 2022 SEMA show and I came across a very cool 1967 Chevy pickup truck I think y'all are gonna like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. How cool is that? First, you have to say it's yellow. And with yellow, you have to get the exact right shade, the exact right color of yellow, or it doesn't work. And they nailed it. Absolutely that shade of white that they used with it. Because if you notice, if you look close, that white's not real white white. Sky, it's got a little bit of a, a grayish cast to it. And against that yellow with that chrome. And this is a 1967 Chevrolet quad cab that originally started out as a 1967 Suburban. How about all that? And man, how cool is that? I wouldn't change a thing. Wheel choice is good. It lays on the ground. I dig the color. I like the color combination. I like the interior. Everything about that truck. And it'll always be cool. Look at the interior. Very nice. It's got kind of a truck, hot rod truck look to it, but it doesn't have that car look it still has like the wide console in the middle that's all you know chevy truck the gauges looking at you give you that feel of a chevy truck so even though it's modern and and much cleaner and nicer than what you would have gotten back in the day they would have had like this super high level trim level it looks like an interior that possibly could have came in that like i said i think they just absolutely nailed it Man, a ton of work. You can only guess. Where do you start? I mean, it was a Suburban, and now it's a quad cab pickup truck. You know, the list of mod body modifications and fabrications is just obviously endless. And I love when they open the bed up like that so you can see all the suspension up underneath there. Because a lot of that's just, I mean, look, the thought process. Because you can see it's a peekaboo or an opening, so you can see some of the beautiful chassis and suspension up underneath there. But it also has a storage compartment that it comes down over. How cool is that? And then they use a different texture, but the same color. Man, that is a million decisions sitting right there. And it's just really hard to wrap your mind around that. Everything on that truck had to be decided upon. And now it looks like it should have came that way. But however long it took, every day was decision after decision after decision. Supercharged LS up under the hood. There again, they've used the same color, but a different texture, a different finish to give it, uh, you know, some depth. Again, hundreds of decisions. Look how clean that is. And wheels are a very personal choice. That's why they make millions of different styles of wheels. But I think the wheels they chose, the flush mount glass, the door handles, every decision they made I think was the right one. It was just finished up before SEMA, so they had only driven it through the building. It drove good through the building, that's a start. <laughs> they don't all do that. So, the interview my wife said it drove fine from one building to the next. So, again, that's a start. Very cool, though. SEMA was loaded with cool this year. I saw, shot a ton of content, like I said, somewhere. I'm guessing it's probably going to be around 40 of these things. So, not trucks, but everything. Cars, trucks. A little bit of something for everybody. But I don't know if they're going to get much cooler than this 1967 C10 quad cab. Used to be a Suburban. Man, I love that truck. So there you go from the 2022 SEMA show. A 1967 quad cab C10 that used to be a Suburban. Hope you all enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.